And many of you posted reports of a shooting in Dan Dan Saturday night. Police did investigate and found no evidence that that shooting take place. But that was not before a small sense of panic ensued on Facebook. And now one representative is saying that could have been avoided. My question is, what's the standard uh, operating procedure? What happens? Do police just circle around and say, stay in your houses? Do they have their microphones on or something like that? What is, is that enough? Saturday, rumors circled that a shooter in a white sedan was shooting into homes in the Dan Dan area. By 11 a.m., KSPN's own Sherry Riggs reached out to DPS and reported those rumors as false. But that was over 12 hours later. We've had in the past a person who went on a rampage and uh, uh, took the guns from a shooting range and, uh, you know, shot uh, many people, um, children, uh, you know, a child, a father, other people that got killed in this mass shooting. There's nothing in place there to stop it. Oh, it happened too fast. But he traveled long distances. Fast forward to today, we haven't learned anything from that incident to pr protect our people. And that's my frustration. From Guam to Hawaii, Los Angeles to New York, most major police departments have a Facebook page to alert the community in case of an emergency. As things developed on Saturday night, I quickly learned our DPS does not. The real question is, will that change in the future? And I've actually brought this up, especially when the rumor happened over the weekend. Um, I, uh, I know for a fact that, this, that the, the office has been working closely with DPS to make sure that we received confirmed reports about an actual shooting, active shooting incident. Um, we received no confirmed reports of the alleged shooting incident. Um, and we wanted to dispel any rumors that may, have, that may or may not have come out. Um, in the, but at the end of the day, we want to make sure and be as transparent as possible to ensure the safety and protection of our residents here in CNMI that we're going to provide the most up-to-date information in the fastest way and the most efficient way possible. If DPS had a social media page, rumors of a shooter on the loose could have quickly been dispelled. But should they be obligated to report non-issues? But this wasn't a non-issue because it was reported. Police actually went up to respond to the call. And because it was making its way through social media and it was such a big thing, that there should have been some sort of response to it to let the people know. But there was no way for people to know, and instead rumors began to escalate, causing Representative Probe to take to Facebook and vent his frustrations. Do you think that maybe your, what seemed like anger about the situation will incite others? And if it does, do you think that's a good thing? No, I don't think uh, uh, this will incite others or whatever. I think that sometimes people have to talk about the issues and whether you uh, get a little bit emotional about it or not, that's part of being human. Now I have reached out to DPS to find out why they do not have a social media presence and if they plan on creating one in the future. I am waiting to hear back and we will keep you posted.